Hello everybody, Queen Bee here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to Small Land Survive the Wilds. Tips, tricks and tutorial for the early game, guys. And for noobs, we're going to start a brand new world and I'm going to teach you everything you want to know about getting a good foothold in the game and surviving early game. So we're going to start with the very basics. We're going to have a look at settings and uh, you can see that you've just got some basic... Um, basic settings here you've got a hide hud so you can do uh screenshots uh you've got arachnophobia so if you come all the way up here you're gonna your spiders are gonna look a lot less like spiders which is great probably more like blobs i'm gonna come into graphic settings you can see this resolution settings this overall quality i'm just leaving it on medium for the purpose of uh, streaming and, and recording for now and input um these are your um controls you can remap them i this was left control i remapped it to c and vice versa and then we've got uh controller support as well so that's all useful we're going to jump out of here but just know things like your resolution etc you are going to have to restart the game after you make any changes we're going to come into here and we're going to create a new character and we're going to call it queen b and uh, you can see it's quite customizable body type there's not much difference between male and female has to be said but there we go um is i'm just gonna what let's let's just do that i'm just gonna make a character up there we go there's my character there's my queen bee let's click confirm so setting up a server is really really easy guys you can if your friends already got a server you can click to join you can click on friends and the server will show up here um or you can create your own you can switch on peaceful mode so the creatures won't attack you unless provoked and uh, you can create a game for other people to join now i'm just going to do that i'm going to put the password in as test one two three we're going to start um a new world and um, that's going to be tutorial And we're going to jump in okay so this is where we're going to start right here at this door and you just want to keep running and we're going to talk about all the things that you need to do to set yourself up for success in the game chat to these centennials they give you a few nice little tips and direction first one is about the owl effigies which is what i'm gonna um i'm gonna talk to you about next and we've got captain hearn outside that we need to speak to brilliant so these are the owl effigies and these really are your tutorial so if you're brand new to the game guys whenever you see one of these read it it will tell you how to craft different uh, that you can tr craft different tools and here is a real key one press v to engage antenna mode so always check out these owl effigies and your knowledge will be expanded by that um if you've already done this don't worry uh, obviously you know just you can skip past them with no ill effect next thing v we're gonna have a look at resources in themselves your basic resources are right in front of you here but if you're in an area and you want to know what the resources are you press and hold v or press v and they'll show up and uh, press v again and they'll disappear or oh, the the glowy stuff will disappear and um we've got resin here we've got sprouts which give you fiber see and uh, if you tap e the fiber will drop on the ground if you press an oldie it will automatically collect into your inventory and i can't stress enough when you're running through this early area um you want to pick up all the resources that you can um these are going to be crucial to to starting out so let me just grab these as i go i'm running past these owls just because i can uh because i've already chatted to them and i've i've been playing quite a few hours i'm i'm about 20 hours into into playing this this gorgeous game um so yeah these guys um you find out about pixie omelets here and some general conversation about insect eggs and then here we go there's always going to be a couple of insect eggs now you can cook with them and you can um, eat them raw so we're gonna then run up through here that's a little bit of a hint there that that mushroom on the fire you can cook up mushrooms later for good tasty grub and you just want to run out of the burrows 
and uh, then you're going to just want to scout around a little bit for any sticks or twigs or, spr or sprouts or resin or whatever you can get everything and anything guys Try not to miss anything because when you get um, to the next person that you need to see, um, you're going to be a bit stuck if you've run past these resources. So here's this dude and you probably are going to want to just run on past him a little bit um, and uh, gather a few more sprouts. Just like I'm doing. Okay. Okay. So let's get these and then I just want to show you one other thing before we go and speak to that dude and see what he's got to say for himself. Now guys, this uh, this water here, it may look beautiful, but it's pretty deadly. You can paddle around in the in the shallows, but go any further in and you're going to drown. Um, you can't swim as a pixie or whatever you are. Now before we chat to this dude, um, let me just tab into my inventory i want to show you a few quick things okay so we've got a fog of war guys going on this is our starter area of the map um if we press m it will bring the map up and uh, if we want to add a marker you right click and you get a marker and you can just type whatever Okay, and if you want to zoom in on that marker, you left click. And then if we come out, you can see the compass at the top, north, south, east, west. Uh, you can see the exclamation mark to the south. Similarly, come in here, right click on that and it will disappear. Your compendium tells you everything that you've learned so far. So you can revert back to it and uh, have a look so you don't have to read everything because you're running around you can maybe do that at night your codex tells you what you know to craft already and where you can get it so hern can craft us padded braces so padded armor and light gauntlets and let's have a look at your crafting so we can get do a wood hatchet we've got a wood club a builder's hammer and a torch we're going to get that sorted and uh, if we then come into here you can see your inventory slots are rather extensive you do carry your hotbar items in your inventory slots which is a bit of a pain but you know what can you do the only limitation is uh, slots you do not have a weight capacity limit so that's great so um I'm just going to come over here. We're going to pick up the blackberries. There's always something there. And you can see that um, we've just unlocked, by crafting up a hammer, a few other things. So if I come into the codex, you see we've unlocked the campfire. And we now know how to craft grasshopper legs, mushroom steaks, and then by, likewise the workbench here. We've got various craftables. So let's come and speak to Hearn and uh, Ernest Manakabi. Now he's going to give you a task um, to go and find the elder Ludwig and he will also craft you armor. So let's come into here. Now you've got light gauntlets which allow you to run a little bit quicker um, and you've got padded armor which gives you warmth. Um, I was going to go for light gauntlets in the beginning guys and I uh, was advised against it and I quite frankly get it um it does get cold and you when you suffer from the cold your health goes down so i would always go for the padded braces although maybe some people would argue against that so i'm just going to swap this out like so and i don't need this stuff so i am just gonna drop it on the floor there we go and it will despawn dropped items will despawn over time Okay, so stats, bottom left hand corner, um, you've got health, you've got food, you don't have water, um, and you have comfort, which is basically temperature. Um, the one thing you're going to want to aim to do, guys, is always keep that stomach one above 70%, because that will allow you to self-heal. So let me eat a mushroom steak. Om nom 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 nom. And that'll take me up to 90. And then I'm just going to come into here 
and show you so we're literally the dude who crafted the armor is literally just there you can see him um and we come down here down here Ooh, grab the sprout and straight on into this tunnel and you'll be able to see that elder is marked on the map anyway and there's hern and i'm not going to spoil it for you but i'm going to show you him he's amazing he's very cute um and you want to start talking to him and that will unlock the main storyline guys okay so the clover key um i'm just gonna tab out of there and uh, we're going to come onwards down this little network and we're going to get some fiber and uh, the clover key that was stolen i will just say this is what it unlocks uh, but I'll leave the dialogue for you all to uh, explore yourself. And then we're going to talk about base building, guys, and food and general survival. So we're going to run out of the network of caves. And, yeah, let's talk about bases. It's all about the base, about the base. Um, <laughs> these trees were made for building. There's ten of them in the world, the ones with the little toadstooly things. There's one over there that you can just about see. Um, there's other trees, but they don't have toadstools. I think maybe that one does over there. But these ones are where you can build your base. And they're brilliant. You can build a base in this tree and then log out with your character and then log into a new server, maybe to play with your friends and stuff. Um, and you can take your base with you. And if you spawn into a server, so say I'd claimed this tree on my world and somebody else had claimed this tree on the world I was joining, you just spawn in with your existing base um, on another tree in the world. So that's really cool. Really, really well done by the devs. And uh, before we claim this tree, I am just going to get a tiny bit more fibre and then we're going to talk to you about food. Okay, so you see these little critters, guys? These ants. They are a good source of food early game, but I wasn't going to show you those yet, but they just crept up on me, the little suckers. So yeah, let's come over here. These are um, edible mushrooms, and uh, that's how you get your mushroom steaks. So let me just get me axe. Uh, before we do any more tree talk, we are going to get an axe. And we're going to chop some of these down. Now, remember I said about uh, keeping your stomach contents at over 70%. You can see my health is ticking up. Even though I took a bit of a bashing because I was unprepared and those uh, sneaky little ants crept up on me, my health is naturally going up which is what we like. So as I've said, um, there are a number of trees in the world and you are going to want to get yourself a tree claimed. I think the best way up this one is just over here. So we're going to give that a go. Can we get up here? Yeah, we can. So when you're claiming your tree for the first time, you're going to need to parkour your way up. So I come up here and I'm uh, going to need to jump across. Can I get up that way? Maybe not. Let me work my way up. Oh, oh, I think it's this. Yeah, round the vine. And uh, maybe I'll speed this up for you to watch. But, um, whoop. Make sure you don't over shoot it. It does take a little bit of a while, but it is worth it.
Okay, guys, and we are almost at the top now. Just like that. Okay, so as you can see, there's a tree over here. Um, there's a hot air balloon thing there. And there's like a little gnome here. And in order to claim this as your very own tree, you're just going to need to press E and tell this gnome thing, I want to claim this tree. Now, in terms of the tree, if you then come over to him, if you're on a public world, um, you can, if you're playing with friends that you trust, you can make your encampment public or you can, um, you can make it uh, private if you're not playing with friends. So that's really useful. Now, once you've claimed this tree, you can come over here to the tree butler and you can say, take me down to root level. And uh, that's our much easier way <laughs> of, uh, of getting up and down. But we're going to go back up to the top and we're going to craft ourselves up a little bit of a base. And I'll show you some of the basic things that you're going to want to put down. So I'd like to go up this great tree, please. Yes. Okay, so here we are. We've claimed our tree. And the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to pop myself down um, a few foundations. So let me get my hammer out. Right click. Foundations. Boom. And let's go with, I'm not going to get too fancy. I'm just going to put a two by three down just for the purpose of this tutorial. But I will show you a few nifty little things that you might want to know. The people who are building fetishes uh, will like this. So if I press C, because I put that down back to front. Um, I pick up all of my resources. You are going to have to pick them up off the ground, uh, but you get all of your resources back. That's the first thing that you want to know. Um, the next thing is that you have an advanced rotate. So if I press R, I can... Um, so that's the normal way you can rotate it, right? But you can also rotate it like that. Whee! And then you can reset it. Marvellous. There we go. And we'll pop a door in here. And as I say, I just want to keep this nice and simple for the purpose of this tutorial. And there we go. The building in this game, guys, it is lovely. But I'm just going to, and I would just say right at the beginning, just throw down the ba the most basic of bases just so that you can get a bit of a foothold. So here we go. Here's my three by two done. And the first things that I'm going to want to be popping in here um, are as follows. We're going to put down a campfire. We're going to put down a bed. We're going to put down storage chest and our workbench. So let's lob that there. And then I also like to come into here and just put a freestanding torch, which will give us a nice bit of light in the room. Although, to be fair, the campfire does give you a nice bit of light. Now, the good bit about the campfire, you don't get burned when you stand on top of it, which is great because a lot of things hurt you in this game. It's good that that is not one of them. The other great thing about the um, the campfire is that you don't have to feed it fire. Uh, you don't have to feed it wood to keep it going. That, in my book, is grand. And I'm going to eat a little bit of food. Now, the next thing I want to do is come over here and I'm going to craft myself up. So we've got the builder's hammer, the wooden club, the hatchet. Let's get to repair the hatchet and basically everything. 
while um, things are in the green, it's not going to take all, all the light yellow. It's not going to take any resources to repair your items. Um, once they get to amber or red, you are going to have to spend resources. Now, I want to craft myself up for my safety a wooden sword. Um, a simple bow. And some wood arrows. Yeah, a hundred, a stack of a hundred, and then I'll get myself a stack of ten bandages. Perfect. So that would be my basic base. The one thing you need to remember: set your spawn point. You can also use this to sleep the day or the night away, which is perfect. And as you can see, it is daytime. So we can't sleep, but um, this is this is going to be the the basic base area. And if I decided to take this character and join some of my friends with this character, I would claim a tree in that world, and my base would come with me. So I hope you found that useful, and uh, I hope you are enjoying the game half as much as I am. And if you did find this useful, like, comment, and subscribe if you wouldn't mind for that good old YouTube algorithm. And stay tuned for more tips, tricks, and tutorials for Small and Survive the Wild. Until next time, guys, stay safe and take care.